I'm going to go live on Facebook. One second, it's setting up. I swear I tested this. Okay, perfect. All right, hello everyone <laughs> and welcome. Um, this is Alara Canfield and today I decided to do a, a short um, Christmas special. So Merry Christmas, everyone. I hope you all had a wonderful holiday with family and friends and with good food and um, I hope Santa was good to you. <laughs> um, yeah, so, you know, I wanted to just do a little quick, quick healing as well um, today because it is uh, the Christmas season. And I know a lot of us are going through a not difficult time per se, but a lot of hecticness, right? And so I wanted to share a little bit of healing on the call as well as a little bit of insights, I guess you could say. So um, I actually was having a really quiet and nice and easy Christmas holiday. And yesterday, <laughs> I, I wasn't doing anything, I swear to God. But um, I hurt my neck <laughs> really badly. So I was like, ha, huh, this is interesting. What's going on here, right? I asked, I asked all sorts of questions. I did all sorts of um, healing things, you know, used all my tools, you know. And uh, then today I decided to do something totally different. So I was meditating and I decided to use a uh, meditation technique or process that I haven't done in a while. And um, that my uh, guru in India had taught me a long time ago, long time ago. So I decided to use that, not, for, not, not because I thought it would heal me or do anything like that. I just got the intuitive hit to do that. So I did. And oh, my neck is so much better. <laughs> um, so much better. Because I mean, I can actually sit and talk and um, not be in pain per se. So it's interesting. This has happened to me once before. <laughs> not once, a couple times before. But usually what it means is that there's energy flowing, right? And um, it just the channels need to be worked on a little bit. So it's like, okay, cool. So I know that. So it's okay. But what I wanted to share was that the idea of when something comes up, what are you doing? Are you doing the same old, same old, or are you doing something different? Right? So I decided to do something different and that different worked, right? Because sometimes when we do the same thing over and over again and expect the different results, <laughs> you know, that's the definition of insanity, right? Or craziness, right? So uh, are you doing anything different in your life? Are you going to be doing anything different coming up? You know, so that's one thing I wanted to quickly just share that little bit of insight. And also, you know, Christmas, it's the, you know, it's the season of presents, right? Buying presents, but it's also the season of presence. Are you being present in your life? Are you calling on or focusing on the presence of Christ consciousness? And Christ consciousness is not a religious thing at all. It's just the energy of Christ consciousness, um, of love and compassion, of selfless love and selfless service and compassion for yourself and for your family and for others. And so I know that, you know, during this time when we are getting together with family, it's not always easy. So in this time, especially if you can <laughs> call in those energies and frequencies and vibrations of compassion, of patience, of peace, right? Um, of, of unconditional love even more, right? And understanding, you know, there's so many emotions that come up when, when we are seeing our family <laughs> or not seeing our family, but there's lots of emotions that come up, right? And are you willing to not get caught up in the story? right? Are you willing to still focus on what's important for you? You know, what's fun for you? What's light for you? And what's expansive for you instead of getting caught up in old stories, right? And those old stories, when they come up, are you willing to look at them and say, huh, okay, interesting that I am going there still, interesting that I'm still getting a charge from that, 
hmm, am I willing to work, you know, clear that, let it go, right? So um, that's one of the things that happens when we're with our family is like all sorts of buttons are pushed, right? We're triggered like nobody's business, right? <laughs> and so um, it can be challenging, right? So it's supposed to be fun. And are you having fun, right? Um, and so that's what I wanted, I wanted to share with you. Still focus on that fun, focus on that ease, focus on the good memories, right? Focus on, you know, creating new memories, right? Even new traditions um, that are fun for everybody, right? So I want to just quickly ask you how you are all doing with that, you know? Like, how was your holiday? Did you have fun? Are you still having fun? Or is there a lot of tension? <laughs> say, don't say no, don't say yes, don't say, say yes, it's great, it's fun, I love it. No, but seriously, you know, uh, look at that and let it go and choose something different for yourself, right? So it's also about how you're going to react. Are you going to react in the same way that you always did before? Or are you going to react in a different way or <laughs> not react at all? right? Interesting point of view, right? And so um, just wanted to share that. And so I wanted to do a quick healing session as well. Um, not just um, for all of me, but you know, I could use it too, right? Because <laughs> I was thinking, okay, what else can I do for my, for my neck? It's like, oh, I know, I'll do a healing. Because you know, when I was doing the 21 days of um, higher dimension healing in December, it was, um, it was wonderful. I, I, I loved it, you know, and it was great for myself as well. And so uh, I thought, yeah, that would be fun for everybody. You could all use a little burst of energy and not necessarily positivity, right? But energy. So I'm just going to check in to see what's happening on that Facebook thing. Because <laughs> I have no idea. I should probably get somebody else to um, monitor that, right? But uh, I just thought I would check it and see if, you know, if there's anybody had any questions there. Um, not sure how that works, but, you know, <laughs> it is what it is. Um, so let's all take, for those of you who don't know, um, oh, you have the, the sore neck too, Tarkin? Oh, dear. Who does that belong to? Right, return to sender, right? Return to sender, return to sender, return to sender. And if you have bought it as yours, you know, where have you bought it as yours, right? And uh, are, you, are you still, are you willing to let it go? You know, so for me, I bought the story that, oh, I've had this before, so I know what this is. You know, it's just energy. <laughs> but can I release it? I can, I can release it. I'm going to let it go because I don't need that discomfort, right, and pain. Meg had a sore neck yesterday too. What? What's going on with everybody? <laughs> so, you know, one of the things that, um, exactly, right? Who does that belong to? Return to sender. And also one of the things that I tend to do when I have discomfort or dis-ease with something is expand out, right? And so in this case, the discomfort or soreness in the neck, expand that out you know, to 100,000 miles or as much as you can go and breathe into it. And just as you expand out, you notice that the uh, intensity becomes less and less and it practically goes away, right? So, so just remember that too, from time to time, just expand out and, and then let it go. And, or you can even, you know, I like to ask, what the hell is this? <laughs> right? What is this? Um, and what can I do with it, right? And so that's why, you know, when I did the meditation, it was great. And then I had, I had another idea of using my tuning forks, which I haven't done yet, but it came to me that use my tuning forks, you know, near my neck. It's like, oh, yeah, I'll do that. Um, you know, so there are different possibilities. So when you ask what is this and what can I do with it, you, you'll, you know, you'll get a, an intuitive hit of what to do. Uh, see, Louis had a wonderful family gathering with his in-laws. Yay. So, you know, <laughs> some of us do have fun with our family and with our in-laws. Isn't that fantastic? <laughs> That's great. Thank you, Louis. You know, there's hope. There's hope for us um, <laughs> that it is possible. 
Um, let me just check one. All right, perfect. So now let's do a quick healing because I would like to share a little bit of healing with all of you. So for those of you who've never done healing with me before, it's really simple. I'm just going to invite you to breathe and um, we're going to connect into the earth, connect to spirit, creator, source, God, universe, and we're going to expand out. Um, and then we're going to just bring in some energies, frequencies, and vibrations. And it's up to you whether you'd like to receive or not. It's your choice, right? So I'm just going to invite you all to just uh, focus on your heart space. Start on off the best you can. Take a deep breath into your heart. And today specifically, we're going to be working on um, the higher heart center. Okay? So we're going to work on the higher heart center. So just take a deep breath, focus on your heart space. Now breathe in through your nose to a count of four. Exhale through your mouth to a count of four. Again, breathe in through your nose. Exhale through your mouth. And one more time, breathe in through your nose. And exhale through your mouth. Good. Now I'm just gonna invite you to focus on the bottom of your feet and we're going to connect into Mother Earth just to receive her energies, receive her contribution, and so that we can more fully be present in this moment and in our bodies and connected to her. So just you can imagine that there are roots growing out of the bottom of your feet, or you can just have the intention of connecting into Mother Earth. So whatever you choose, whatever you choose, whatever you like. I like doing the um, the roots myself. So just imagine that these roots are going deep into the ground, deeper and deeper still, deeper and deeper still going into the crystalline core of Gaia. And as these roots go deeper, they're spreading out five miles in all directions. And as you connect into the heart chakra of Mother Earth, I invite you to just be open to receiving the energies, frequencies, and vibrations from Mother Earth of unconditional love, blessings, support, strength, vitality, stability, presence, groundedness, the energy of belonging, belonging here on this planet, belonging here in this physical realm, belonging in your physical body. Just be open to receiving all those energies and frequencies as well as nurturing and nourishment, resources, abundance and prosperity, healing and wisdom. There's so much wisdom that the earth has to offer and so much healing that the earth always is contributing to us. So be open to receiving all of that and more and allow all of these energies, frequencies, and vibrations to come up through those roots, all the way up into your feet, filling up your feet and going into your ankles, into your shins and your calves, your knees, your thighs, your hips, all the way up your back and spine, into your stomach, your torso, your chest, across your shoulders, down your arms, into your hands and fingers, 
up into your neck and throat. We're going to work a little bit extra on the neck part today. <laughs> and continue to breathe. And now we're going to go up into the headspace, filling up in the entire headspace, the front of your face, the back of your head, the top of your head, and all of these energies, frequencies, and vibrations are now going out through the top of your head, through your crown chakra, filling up your entire energy fields and aura. So just take a deep breath. Good, now let's connect into spirit, creator, source, God, universe, the great central sun, the great galactic sun. So just imagine you're standing with your hands reaching for the sky and your hands are like branches of a tree reaching higher and higher, higher and higher, still past the white clouds, past the blue sky, past our sun, going deep into the heavens, into the cosmos, into the center of our galaxy, and into the great galactic sun, and be open to receiving the energies, frequencies, and vibrations of unconditional love, bliss, peace, oneness. Just take a deep breath to receive the energies of allowance and acceptance, the energies of compassion and gratitude. The energies of support and connection, connection to spirit, connection to you and your being. Connection to your guides, the beings of light, your angels. the energies, frequencies, and vibrations of healing and wisdom, as well as abundance and prosperity. And at the same time, the energies of allowance, creativity and creation, the energies of moving forward And also the, the energies of being present, being present right now in this moment and in any moment that you choose. And that gift of presence it is the gift from the divine, from source, from you and from the universe. So just take a deep breath. And allow all of these energies, frequencies, and vibrations to now come down through those branches and into your fingers and hands, down your arms, filling up your entire body and being from the tips of your toes and beyond, all the way back up to the top of your head, out your crown chakra, into your energy fields and aura. And take a deep breath. And this time today, we're going to focus on the higher heart. So I invite you to just take a deep breath into your normal heart at your chest. And you can put your hand on your chest if you have difficulties connecting to your heart space, heart chakra. And just breathe in and expand out. And just expand out to be as big as your body, as big as your being. Be as big as the room that you're in. Keep breathing in and expanding out. As big as the city that you're in. As big as the country that you're in. As big as this planet and beyond. Just keep expanding out, keep expanding out, keep expanding out. 
Beautiful. And now come up to your higher heart chakra, which is between your throat and your heart, in the middle of your chest, but at the top. So you can actually see where I'm putting my hand. So just focus on your higher heart chakra for a moment. And just be open to receiving some energies, frequencies, and vibrations from a spirit, creator source for the higher heart chakra. So the energies of unconditional love and blessings and of selfless service and greater compassion, compassion for you and compassion for all, all that is. And this higher heart chakra, I invite you to expand this out. So imagine that it's a pink ball of light. And as you expand it out, it's bigger and bigger and bigger so that you are inside this pink ball of light. It's pink, it's shimmering, and we're going to invite in the energy of Christ, Christ consciousness, Jesus, into the space right now. And if you'd like, you can also imagine or have the intention that in your higher heart chakra there is a, a golden flame burning right now, golden and white flame burning. It mixes in with the pink of the higher heart chakra, so that's shimmering and golden, pink and white. It's just absolutely beautiful. Just keep expanding that out and keep intensifying these energies from Christ, the Christ consciousness energies that really actually are much stronger today at this time because we're so focused on him, right? On Jesus, on the Christ. So as we are focusing on the higher heart chakra, this beautiful pink ball of light, orb of light, that is all around us, surrounding us, enveloping us in love and light and peace. Just feel these energies in all of your molecules. So even though we're focusing just on the higher heart and just this pink ball of light, is it really just Right, we can fill all of our molecules with these light, with this light, with these energies, with the peace, with the unconditional love, with the blessings of the season. So fill up all your molecules with these energies, replenish your molecules, replenish your cells, Replenish your entire being. And now what would it take for us to embody these energies more regularly and radiate these out to the world to be these energies? What would that take? Choice, focus, intention just taking a few moments so now that you're having an experience of these energies you can call upon them anytime you can remember this space this peace this love and intensify it and intensify it and make it even bigger and bigger and be this energy be all of these energies, these energies of joy, of light, of love, of peace. And also these energies of hope, uh, expectation, right? Joyful expectation. And use these energies to create what you would like to create for the future.
for your future. So what would you like to create in 2018? Would you like to create more of these energies, experience more of these energies of joy, of unconditional love, of peace for you and for the world and for humanity, for consciousness? What if we could all be joy every day? What would our lives be like? What would the world be like? What would humanity be like if we all were able to experience joy every day? Be the embodiment of joy, be the embodiment of peace, be the embodiment of unconditional love and compassion and gratitude. We can, we can choose it and we can be it. Let's take a deep breath, everyone. Come back to your heart space. And from, from your heart, either your higher heart or <laughs> your regular heart, I invite you to send out unconditional love, blessings and gratitude to your family, friends, loved ones, colleagues and coworkers, to everybody who is on this call now or later. To your support team, to yourself, to me, to this beautiful planet, to all of humanity and to anybody else and anything else that requires it. Please send unconditional love and blessings and gratitude now. and receive. Good, take a deep breath. Focus on your body, focus on the bottom of your feet. Start to wiggle your toes and fingers. And when you're ready, you can open your eyes. Let me just check in with everybody, see how you're all doing. Does anybody want to um, unmute or write on the Q and A in the chat? I mean, so what is it called? It's called chat. So yeah, sometimes it takes me a few moments to come back to being present. So just take a just take a few deep breaths to be present in your body. Oh good, Paige. Glad you glad you liked it. <laughs> I mean you're you're experienced with it already because you were in the higher dimension healing intensive. That's great. Torgan, how was that for you? Great. Good? Yep. <laughs> Wonderful. Good. <laughs> uh, Louis says he loved it. Yay. Good. And so, you know, this is um, something, you know, is really short and simple and um, easy, but it's something that we can all do uh, whenever we just need a little pick me up, right? Whenever we need to shift our energy, we can just do this again. And so for those of you who are in my community, <laughs> I will send you the recording of it and I'll, I'll probably put it on Facebook, um, on YouTube as well so you can see it there. All right, so thank you everyone. And I know some of you are busy getting ready to go out still for Christmas celebrations and so on. So enjoy, continue to enjoy, continue to be at peace, continue to, Focus on your heart space whenever, you know, things come up, because um, they might. Oh, <laughs> what is with all this next stuff for everybody? That is so interesting. Hmm. Interesting. Thank you for letting me know, Louis. 
Um, but yeah, just uh, come from your heart, come from a little bit more compassion than normal because uh, a lot of people are experiencing different things at this time, right? So some of us may be experiencing <laughs> some neck pain, <laughs> right? Others may be just, you know, old emotions may be coming up and they don't know how to handle them, right? And so just know that, you know, that people could be going through different uh, things at this time and just to have a little bit more patience with them, a little bit more understanding and just, don't get caught up in the story. <laughs> just don't get caught up. Say, it'll be okay. Tomorrow's another day. You know, I'm just going to focus on, on this moment. And um, thank you. Just keep saying thank you, thank you, thank you. <laughs> right. And, focus up and just focus on your heart space. Yeah, there's a lot of energy. And also, um, it's the 25th now. And then, of course, on January 1st, I think, is the full moon. And, you know, just so much so many different energies going on right now, right? And we are so empathic as well. We're all picking up on stuff from other people. So even with your wife, Louis, you can ask her, you know, who does this belong to? Return to sender. Is this yours, right? Return to sender. Because it may not be hers. It may be something she's picking, picking up, right? Or, oh, also, the earth could be requiring a contribution. So sometimes when... Uh, sometimes when I experience um, physical discomfort, I then find out that something has happened on the planet somewhere and that the earth requires a contribution. And as you know, at this time, years ago, right, there was that major tsunami, right? And so a lot of people who may have been affected at that time may be remembering that. That may be coming up for them again as a story because they had gone through it and so on and so forth so they may be bringing that up again right but yeah ask um ask if it's if the earth needs a contribution and you know just send these energies to the earth so you know for example that the headache the neck ache you know um i think i said in some of the calls you know expand out or send down to the earth you know the earth can always transmute it and sometimes the earth requires it so ask the questions right Exactly. Yeah. So yeah, definitely ask and ask the universe to show you what you need, but also ask the earth, does it require a contribution? Right? Usually, uh, usually the universe doesn't require a contribution, but the earth sometimes does, right? So um, <clears throat> good point. And so you can do that as well. And, you know, the, the earth is always gifting to us and contributing to us all the time. So any time that we can contribute to her, um, right, why not? Okay. Yeah, beautiful. Good. Um, so <laughs> thank you so much, everyone. And like I said, I'm sending you all, like, all these wonderful, you know, Christmas time is, uh, uh, can be a special time as well. For me, it's, it's always been a very special time. Um, and I love it. You know, it's when I, I'm focusing not on the material part anymore, but just on the presence of the Christ and presence of God, um, spirit, right. And, and how much I love that, you know, that the feelings of hope, the feelings of just all sorts of good things, you know, and, and, and positive expectations for the new year. Exactly, energetic contributions. Yeah, we can always contribute energetically to to the earth uh, and to hmm, I was going to and to others, but only I only like contributing to others when they ask for it. I don't like to just send to somebody unless they actually specifically ask for healing or contributions. Uh, so I send blessings and unconditional love, but even then, only when they ask. Um, okay, great. <laughs> <laughs> so have a wonderful day. I know it's uh, afternoon for those in the East Coast. And so have a great day. Maybe you're doing more Christmas um, celebrations. For those of you in Europe, it's evening. So maybe you're having dinner. So thank you, everyone. Have a great day, afternoon, evening, or morning if you're on the, on the West Coast of Latin North America. And so until next time, continue to live your life filled with joy, peace, love, abundance, and happiness. Sending you all much love and blessings always. Bye for now.
the case. Thank you. Thank you, Targan. Thank you. Thank you. <laughs> Let me see if I can end this properly.